Hello and welcome to e-learning campus. Children, in previous classes we have already learned about motion block and looks block. In today's class we will learn about pen block. Pen block is very interesting block in scratch programming. So let's start. So here you can see the scratch window. So here in this window I have already included uh, my sprite here. Now children I have included few motion blocks here with the repeat block. So I will show you uh, without using the pen block how it will work. So I have used pointing direction because I want that it will face towards the right side. After that I have set the glide. So uh, that means I am setting the initial location for my uh, sprite gobo. And then repeat 25 and move 30 steps and it will turn 15 degree in each and every repetition means it will create one rotation see it is creating or it is rotating a kind of circle right now I'll show you how we will use pen block and then how it will create or how it will draw a line so pen block is basically used to create or to draw a line or a colorful line on the stage area so whenever we want that our sprite will draw something on the stage a line so we can use pen block we have option to change the thickness change the color all these options are available here okay so we'll see all these things one by one so uh, uh, this type of uh, circle or this type of lines we can draw on the stage area with the help of pen block now children very first block is there in the pen block is clear Okay, so whenever we want to clear our stage area, we can do, uh, we can use that clear button. See, uh, already one circle is there. Now I want to clear it. So whenever you want that you want to clear that particular stage area, you can use clear button. Now children, I'll show you a pen down. So uh, here I am using set pen color to and now see here. I am using pen color but it is not drawing anything. So here we have option pen down. It's similarly to a normal pen. Children. Whenever we draw, whenever we want to write anything on the paper, first we need to touch our pen to the paper. Then only we can write anything. Then only we can draw anything. In the same way, I will show you one more time. This is without pen down. Okay. Now whenever we want to draw anything on the stage area, first we need to do pen down and then only it will draw something on the stage see see like this so this is how we can use uh, pen uh, blocks okay so whenever you want to use pen block first you need to do pen down and then only it will draw anything on the stage now children I am attaching this here and one glide okay wait attach it after the repeat block let me remove this. Now see. It is drawing a circle and then it is gliding away from the circle. But while gliding away from the circle, it is also creating a line. What I want actually, I want that it will draw a circle and while gliding to the other location, it should not draw anything on the stage. I just want a circle on the stage area. So we have another option, pen up. Pen down means whenever you want to draw anything on the stage, you should do pen down. And whenever you don't want to do, draw anything on the stage, so you need to do pen up. Okay. Similarly, when we don't want to write anything on the paper, we need to do pen up. In the same way, uh, it will work here also. Now, uh, here you have seen when I have not attached pen up, it was creating a circle and while gliding, it is creating a line. Let me clear the stage area. And now... Now see the chain children. It is creating a circle and while gliding now it is not drawing any line. I will show you the difference one more time. See. It is creating a circle while uh, moving away it is uh, drawing a line. Now I am using pen up again. And see. Creating a circle and now because I have attached pen up before the glide. So while uh, before uh, while gliding from uh, gliding away from the circle it is not creating anything here. 
okay so this is uh, we this is how we can use pan down and pan up children whenever we want to draw anything on the stage use pan down and whenever you don't want to do, draw anything on the stage you can use pan up children now uh, let me show you stamp stamp is very interesting uh, block here so whenever you want a duplicate copy of your sprite on the stage area not in the sprite list here at the bottom no only on the stage area if you want to duplicate your sprite after every repetition or after every movement so what you can do you can use stamp okay i'll show you here i am using this stamp inside the repeat block so after each and every repetition it will create a stamp of itself means it will create a duplicate copy of itself see like this so uh, every time when it is moving it is creating a duplicate copy of itself so this is the use of stamp children okay now let me clear the stage area again now we have option set pen color to and change pen color by now there is a difference between set pen color to and change pen color by set pen color to means if you want to set your pen color to only single color any one color if you want to set it you can use set pen color but if you want that your pen color will change after each and every repetition or after every moment it will change the pen color then you can use change pen color by now i am using set pen color to here zero means red color okay now see see it is creating in red color now after every moment if you want that it will change the pen color use change pen color by i am changing the number here okay here also you can change the number and you will uh, see the difference i'll show you one by one every time it is creating a uh, it is moving but creating it in a different color okay now uh, let me use set pen size to the last block we have set pen size to means here you can see it set to 1 only and very thin line we can see on the stage area now i am increasing it to 10 and i am removing this change pen color and now see it is creating very thick line children now i am changing the pen color to 30 see now it is creating a yellow kind of line now i am changing it to 50 green color in the same way you just need to change the pen color and you will see the difference in the color here on the stage area uh, which is drawing by our particular sprite only okay so in this way you can change the color and you can see the difference here on the stage area okay so this is how we can set the pen color and this is how we can set the pen size also children now here change pen color by 30 i am using again and see the difference every time when my sprite is moving and it is repeating the same steps every time it is changing the color so this is the use of change pen color by okay if you want to change the pen color after each and every repetition you can change it but if you will attach set pen color here it will set to a particular number only it will not change the pen color every time try and use it children now we have option change pen shade and set pen shade okay initially i will show you here set pen shade so set pen shade children so whenever you want to draw anything on the stage and you want to set the pen shade so you can set it with the help of 50 let me change the pen color to 0 and see it is drawing red color now if you will decrease the number from 50 to 0 it will uh, create a darker shade of the same color now here i am putting the number 10 children now see the change it is creating the darker shade of the same same color now i am increasing the number now whenever you increase the number from 50 to 100 it will create the lighter shade of the same color now i am putting 90 here and see it is creating the lighter shade of the same color okay now 50 means 
the same shade uh, or the actual color you will get when you set the pen shade to 50. Now, we have one more option, change pen shade. So, if you want that after each and every repetition, it will change the pen shade. So, you can use change pen shade by. Now, here I am increasing it by 10 and see the difference. See, it is creating lighter, lighter, lighter and the actual color and then after it is started creating the darker shade and then again lighter shade. So, 0 to 100 it will move and then it will change it change uh, by itself only. Okay, so it first it will go to the darker shade and then uh, first it will go to the lighter shade and then it will create the darker one for the same color. So, this is how we can use change pen shade. Okay, set pen shade. Uh, so, 50 means same color and uh, 50 to 0 darker shade and 50 to 100 lighter shade of the same color. Okay children. Now, we have options set pen size and change pen size. Set pen size I have, I have already shown you here. So, set pen size uh, means if you want to set your pen size to particular number. Okay, wait a minute. See here. Now you can see it is creating it a circle in red color but it is creating in a uh, in a single stroke. Single stroke means it is creating the same thickness of the pen. Okay, creating with the same thickness of the pen. Now if you want that it will change the thickness of the pen after each and every repetition. So thickness of the pen we can change or we can set with the help of set pen size to and if you want to change it we can use change pen size by. Now here, I am changing the number by 10 so that uh, the change will be visible. Now see, I am using it. See, every time when it is moving, it is changing the pen shade. Okay, now let me change it to 5 and let me use the change pen color also. So that after each and every repetition, it will change its pen color also. See. It is creating a circle but every time it is also changing the color. Okay, so if you want that it will change it will uh, change the thickness very slowly. You can decrease the number here and see. It is changing it very slowly and if you want that it will change faster then you can increase the number here. See? Like this. Okay, so this is how we can use change pan color and change pen size so uh, this is all about pen block children uh, whenever you want to draw anything whenever you want to uh, create a line create a circle triangle square or any kind of shape if you want to draw on the stage area use motion block and uh, after using the motion block attach pen block in between okay so it will work properly and every time if you want to change the color always use repeat and move block and inside that repeat and uh, repeat block, you can include change pen color if you want to change the pen color every time. So uh, that's all about pen block, children. Uh, if you have, uh, uh, if you like this video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe my channel for the further updates. And uh, also, if you want to watch any other videos related to MS PowerPoint, related to MS Word, you can go into the description box. You can check uh, other. Uh, uh, other uh, playlist also related to software, related to evolution of computer, types of software. So all the playlists I have already mentioned here in the description box and I will attach here on the screen also. Thank you and have a nice day.